Welcome back to the Sun Newsroom and a look ahead at what we're working on in the days ahead. Kevin Williamson Entertainment, I guess, is all about movies? Uh, that's right, and it's all about summer movie season, which kind of kicks off uh, next Friday, May uh, 3rd, with Iron Man 3. Really kind of the first big uh, sequel of the summer. Uh, it'll be a blockbuster tracking, you know, to be huge, uh, coming off last year's uh, Avengers. So we're going to be looking at uh, all the other big movies coming up, like Man of Steel, uh, After Earth with uh, Will Smith, uh, and, uh, and then also looking at uh, TV uh, uh, finales, it premieres, uh, new CDs coming out, the whole, the whole works. We were talking just a moment ago about franchises, and I was saying it seemed to me when I was in my 20s and 30s, you know, certainly there were the franchises, there were the Star Wars, and there were the Indiana Jones, but nowhere near as many as we have now, not only just movies, but Breaking Bad and other TV shows. Everything, it seems like, is not only a franchise, but has a date, you know, that people are anticipating. Right, it, it, everything uh, when they're, they're looking at movies to make, uh, does it have a comic book, does it have a novel, does it have a theme park ride that can go with it. And they love these uh, uh, worldwide release uh, dates too, right, where, where something opens everywhere on the same day. Um, they're, they're all chasing kind of, you know, the one billion worldwide posts is what everybody wants now for their films. Right. It's that, uh, that money that's tied to those dates because we anticipate it and we buy our tickets in advance. Kevin, thank you. I, I appreciate it. Okay, let's turn to uh, Dean McNulty uh, talking about a different type of franchise, uh, including, I guess, the NHL playoffs. Dean? Thank you, Thane. Yes, the NHL playoffs are about to start and the Sun will have a full preview this weekend featuring all the matchup of all the Canadian teams that are battling for the Stanley Cup. And also this weekend is the NFL Draft. John Crick will be there and he will be talking who is going where and what teams are going to be picking which players. Thanks, Dean. Okay, let's check in with Ted Rath, QMI Agency. Ted, the weekend, I got to think it uh, revolves largely around uh, the terrorism threats. Yeah, and just all the events of the past couple of weeks from, uh, from, from the, the bombings in Boston to the arrests here in Canada this week. We're going to go back and kind of take a bit of an overview of uh, just the scary world that we live in, and, and nice to see that, that Canada is really among the least scary nations out there. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of good writers, some that were down in Boston as well as our experts here, also waiting in on that, I guess, on, the, on that Sunday. I also have a read, and that is about a, a little bit uh, lighter side, I guess we can uh, call it. Uh, uh, Marina Chapman is a woman who was raised in Columbia. Um, a child of doctors dropped her off at one point in the jungle where she says that she was raised for years uh, with, the, uh, with the monkeys, so we'll be speaking to her. It's a little bit of a light side compared to kind of the heavy news that we've been having for these past couple of weeks. Listen, all these stories have one thing in common. As always, we're writing them for you.